whole lot of what are called rapid fire questions from various emails and SMSs <laughs> that we've got. And they're just like one word, two word answers. Or... So the first one is uh, like the other side of you. Do you like movies? I do, but I honestly, I don't get very much time <laughs> to watch them. <laughs> so what kind of movie if you had to watch one? Um, well, you know, I, I grew up liking Pixar movies a lot. Pixar, <laughs> right, right, right. And I still do, <laughs> even though I'm much older now. Uh, Any chance? I also like, uh, Sorry, I also like movies about history. Gandhi was one of my favorite movies oh, okay. uh, that, right. about historical figures who changed the world. I really enjoy taking inspiration from things like that. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, right. Somebody wants to know Bollywood, any corner of your life? No chance. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. What about sports? Any interest there? Or again, uh, no time really. I know. Well, I grew up playing tennis. Uh, that was always okay. my favorite sport. Okay. And, okay. and I'm actually still a major tennis fan. I, Okay. Never miss any of the slams. They oh, go to the U.S. Hey. Open every year. <laughs> wow. <laughs> from so beginning to end. Yeah. <laughs> right. Can you predict the winner from the beginning with the mathematical permutations? <laughs> <laughs> I've done pretty good. <laughs> You've done pretty well. Okay. So somebody, do you dream of maths at night? <laughs> yeah, this is a good question. Uh, I don't know that I do for sure, but many times I'm thinking about a math problem before I go to sleep, and in the morning I've figured out the answer. Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. I highly encourage that. I mean, <laughs> I don't remember the process of thinking at night, but when I wake up, think, it, maybe it's just a process of the mind just clearing me. or yes. something. But if you're stuck on anything, not necessarily mathematics, if you just sleep on it, you know, there's the phrase, sleep on it. It works for mathematics too. <laughs> so all of you got to read math, some problem math before you go to sleep. Last thing, <laughs> right? Um, if you were not a mathematician, what would you be? Uh, can be a musician. Musician? Yeah. Right. Wow. Tabla. Tabla player. Tabla. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I, I mean, I am kind of a tabla player, but that would, yeah. be, would, that would be your passion. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Uh, I think dosas are my favorite. Dosas? <laughs> <laughs> Pizza is a close second. <laughs> so you like food, but uh, somebody wants to know can you even fry an egg or make a toast? Can okay. you cook? Oh, I do a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really do like food, and so I do uh, like the art of cooking. I don't get as much time for it as I'd like, but uh, when I do get time, I enjoy it. So somebody says, what happens when five mathematicians are locked in a room together? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Mathematicians love talking about math. <laughs> really? So they'll start about other topics. You know, often you go to dinner with mathematicians, back to and you know, if inevitably the conversation turns about talking about deep math, math questions and all the lingo even and jargon, at a dinner, right? even at a dinner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you say to someone who says, and it's quite common, I hate maths? That means that you didn't learn it in the right way. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Right. It's it's interesting that it's okay to. to in society to say that, because math is so fundamental, and yet people can be totally proud in saying, oh, I always hated mathematics. Right. Can you imagine people saying, I always hated to learn to read? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> people don't say that, right? <laughs> but somehow with math, you know, I think that, <laughs> I think that needs to change. You know, math is just as fundamental as reading. You, know, you shouldn't hate it. You should find the right way to learn it. Just like, it's just you wouldn't be proud of being illiterate in the same way you shouldn't be proud of <laughs> not knowing maths or hating maths. That's my feeling. <laughs> yeah, and it is just the way you've been taught, and, and the way maths you've been brought up on maths. I think so. Yeah, you can yeah. change that. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, somebody wants to know: Do you do weird? Do you do weird things like? Are you automatically counting the number of people in this audience? <laughs> That's a strange question. <laughs> I personally don't, but I'm sure there are mathematicians that do. <laughs> I think mathematicians are known to be pretty quirky, <laughs> and they all have their own quirks. And <laughs> so they'll kind of put them in bunches and right, put right, them right. in some theorem. <laughs> yeah. For me, the quirk is, you know, if I'm uh, if I'm walking in some mall or yeah, I always look at the floor tiles and analyze the geometric patterns. That's my quirk. Really? <laughs> wow. That's... And that's the quirk that I've had since I was a child. <laughs> And you kind of watch where you step, or you just make patterns out of it? Yeah, sometimes my steps will go according to the geometric pattern. <laughs> really? Wow. Somebody wants to know what, what keeps you awake at night? Uh, I personally sleep very well. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing, uh, nothing keeps me awake. <laughs> Not that uh, I haven't cracked that. There have been nights where I was so enthralled by a mathematics problem that I didn't, you know. There have been nights where I just stayed up all night because it was such an exciting idea 
that I, you know, I didn't want to do anything else but uh, work it out. <laughs> wow. And so I've had those, uh, those experiences, but uh, only a few in my life, I'd say. Most of the time, I prefer sleep. Sleep <laughs> like a log. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so three more questions. What's the one thing you want to do in your life from now on? One big thing. Well, the last few months, uh, ever since I got this Fields Mill in August, <laughs> Uh, life has kind of changed, <laughs> uh, and I've realized that I suddenly have the platform to try and change education, and so that's, I think, become suddenly my, one of my main passions is to change the way mathematics is taught, help make that, uh, that curriculum shift to make mathematics fun that's and exciting again. Actually. Isn't that wonderful? I don't know. I think it's so badly needed, really. Just all the examples well, you've you. given, really, really important. Thank you. <laughs> Two more questions. One, uh, this one is like, I think because of all your record and your past and all, they just want to know, are you human? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, I guess it ties up with the last question. Do you cry? <laughs> uh, not so much anymore, I guess. But I certainly get sad about things and wish they were different. And, uh, and I use those opportunities to try and help make change. And, right, uh, right. In that, I don't think I'm different than anybody. I think we all feel that. So like you're saying that uh, many people here and watching could become great mathematicians like you, or maybe not as good, but uh, could be. No, absolutely. If they're taught properly, or given the right stimuli, etc. It's not like you have to be superhuman to do that. Right, right. And t uh, taking the initiatives on your own. If you're passionate about something, if it's not available in your school the way you want it, you do it on your own. You find the right book that, you know, that, that teaches it in the way that you like. Mm -hmm. And just explore and, and, and develop the right way to learn for yourself. Because there isn't any one way that works on everybody. You have to sort of discover that for yourself. Figure out what you're most passionate about, and then figure out the path that you want to take uh, that, that you'll enjoy the most, and then work hard at it. And, and then you'll, you'll right, do great. Right. That's yeah. great.